Hey, everyone, you designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 255, Fall Mantle Ideas, and you can find today's show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 255. And I know that uh, we're all excited that fall's just on, uh, just coming up right now and uh, we're getting ready for it. And just this, just yesterday, I decorated my fall mantle. So that's usually what I start with. And then I put a fall wreath on the front door and start there. So I've got lots of ideas for you today, but it's not really feeling like fall in my neck of the woods. So even if it's not feeling like fall in the neck, in your neck of the woods, you can start a mantle. So it feels like fall inside. I went sort of minimalistic this year and uh, fall is, you know, wait a minute. What did you just say you did? Minimalistic. (laughs) You? You for, for me for me okay middle, okay, okay so there's it's <laughs> relative <laughs> minimalism yeah yes yeah, right. right. yeah. probably yeah. more than I'm doing mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so we thought we'd throw out some of our favorite ideas for decorating your fall mantle so you can get some great ideas to get started um I went down to my basement and found these I had last year I had these four letters f a l l and I, they're pretty big and they're white and I put them on my dining room. So I drug them out and put them in the center of my mantle this year. So they really look sort of fun. And then I went um, with these little tiny, almost like milk jars or milk bottles. They're white and, and they're small size and then filled them with bittersweet and then used bittersweet to entwine around the letters fall and just I had some rustic candles and called it a day. Wow. That sounds hey, nice. That I know. Pretty, and much more that than I'm pretty minimalist for you. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. For me, but you know, I think um I've I've sort of decided that I'm gonna do a lot of whites with a little a little touch of orange this year. You I had, like you that had look. mentioned that and I think that is really pretty. It's really fresh mm-hmm. looking too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, let well, me ask I, you, these yeah. milk bottles, are they, mm-hmm. they're milk bottles, but they're also milk glass or are they? No, they're white. They're uh-huh. like a, um, a white, almost like an iron stone. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Maybe they're about oh, six inches tall. Uh-huh. And, you know, they're usually like, I, I, I have them all the time on my blog. I use them at place settings in here and there. And I thought, oh, I'm going to put two on one side on a stack of burlap books um, and have bittersweet coming out of that. And then I just have one sitting on the other side of the word fall on, on the mantle and have uh, bittersweet coming out of that. And it's not real. It's faux bittersweet. Although we can get loads of bittersweet around this area. Yeah. You said it was rogue bittersweet. So it is. Oh yeah. Because it's considered um, an invasive plant. So like you can't plant it in your backyard. A lot of, a lot of like our state, it's illegal to do that. Wow. But it grows wild. It just, you know, just. So she's got contraband there on her oh. fireplace. <laughs> like, after, no, it's faux. It's faux girls. It's after faux the show. <laughs> I want to see the, maybe send me a box of that stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> no roots. Just send me the uh-huh. stuff. I, I mean, there, there really isn't anything like the real thing, but it does drop. The berries sometimes drop. And now I have all these little babies crawling around, so Uh-oh. I don't want them to get the berries. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, that would be bad. Mm-hmm. When my little Edith, my little dog, she likes to eat all the berries. No matter what's on oh. the ground, she would eat those. So yes, and be careful. And we've been through you with quite a few little Edith is not feeling well today episodes. Yes, so. yeah. Edith, Edith has some settling in to do. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But she's she's good now. Just keep the bittersweet away. Um. Okay, I saw something that's really cute. I did my mantle. It's my early mm-hmm. fall mantle, mm-hmm. and I have it up on my YouTube channel, which has been so much fun to start doing. So if you like YouTube or you feel like looking at a video instead of reading something, you could head over and check out my um, early fall living room, and I just have a few little things going on there. But okay, I can I stop you-, you right there? Yeah, sure. Man. Kelly, your YouTube video, you need a television show. I'm like addicted. Oh, I seriously, me an agent. I, I am so <laughs> addicted to your 
your channel. Thanks. You do it's such pretty a awesome. good job. She does. Oh, you and you really you never run out of anything to say, which is so awesome. Like I'd be like, okay, I've told you enough. Now I'm done. And now <laughs> just how, have like all these other things Oh, now they have to get the to hook say. and drag me off. Get out of the uh, room. So, so how would someone find the link to your YouTube channel? Oh, you just go to youtube.com slash my soulful home. And we'll put that in the show notes. Oh, you guys are so <laughs> kind. Thank you. No, we've been having a lot of fun doing them. It was kind of just something we thought we'd throw up there and see what happened. And- okay. Did you just put that up? Because the last thing I saw was your early fall porch. And I'm trying to think. Did yeah. I see your dining room? We have the yeah. porch mm-hmm. and the dining room and the living room I put up on Sunday. So I'm trying to do that uh, on Ah, that's Mondays. why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but anywho, I told you guys about those mini uh, ceramic pumpkins that I just... Ah, uh-huh. stop me yes, in my tracks yes. in Target when I was looking for college <laughs> loose loose leaf. And that you that you took all the basket. Yeah. I thought they were plastic. They were ceramic? Mm-hmm. Ceramic. Oh. And I know I that friend, up a notch. Ann Anderson was scouring her targets to get them too. I don't know. And send me an email. Let me know if you found them. She's uh oh, I think she did say that she got navy ones. Um, Maybe. I'm going to go look at mine. Yeah. Well, I sort of didn't have Navy, but that could have been fun too with the little See, the way stems. this works, the way this works is we get tips from each other and <laughs> I'm hearing about this Target thing and I'm going to have a day to get over to Target before this episode is live. So I don't have to worry about mine being sold <laughs> out. So, and, yeah. Yes. And if you go to the Lancaster Target on Route 30, forget it because I will clear those out too. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but heads up, we already talked about this. I think you guys might come up with, you know, zip Oh, that's right. That's but right. Anyways, well, so I but wasn't I wasn't ready. You weren't ready. Um, I wasn't on ready. On my before. very narrow mantle, I have my three candlesticks at either end, which always stay there. Two are a goldish brass, like they just really are. And then other ones were some other color and they were wooden. So I spray painted them gold and now they all look really nice together and they are different heights. So I have my Trader Joe's tapers in them and they pretty much stay there all the time, except for Christmas when I put up the garlands and stuff. So mm-hmm. there are the anchors at either end. Cause as you recall, my mantle is really only about five and a half, six inches wide. So there's very little that I can do and it has the mirror above it. So what I did was I had my, um, gold mercury glass votives and I put some boxwood in there and mixed in some uh their coffee berries um also called hypercurium berries they oh last, I love that yeah Hyperic they last berries. a really long time mm-hmm. and they come in a lot of different colors so I'm, this is not in the video because I didn't this is was post doing that video um but I put them in there with some boxwood and then I took these little pumpkins that I scored at Target and I just put them in between the votive. So it's so simple. So again, working now, on the Now, did you threes. spray paint the pumpkins? No, these are the ones from Target. They, they're they either white with the gold stem, apparently oh, navy with gold okay. stem. I got gray with gold stem and they also had your traditional orange with the gold stem, but they're they're maybe three inches and they're all so adorable. Oh, they're tiny, tiny. So cute. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm, you can, nice. if you're listening and you can drive to Target while you're listening to us, or if you need to stop, you can come back and listen later, but go now and get them. Yeah, <laughs> just, just if you're in your car, were wherever they on you sale? are, head to the nearest Target. Okay. Sh- you don't pay attention to me, Nita Jean. They were in the dollar, <laughs> dollar section. Oh. They're a dollar each. I spent eleven dollars, <laughs> and I for I mean that's the best eleven dollars I've spent in a long time. Anita was dealing with the with the lawnmower guy oh, when yeah, you were talking about oh, that, yeah. or she fell down yeah. the well. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. so that anyway, that was my very simple early fall mantle. It you know that's that's a great tip to see if you can get those little tiny pumpkins. Mm-hmm. But if you can't get the ceramic ones, then use any little pumpkins. Just work in threes again. I'm just it's just the way to go. Mm, yeah, I, agree. I love the little Cinderella white, the mini, the, what you call baby the mini booze, booze. Baby, baby booze, booze. baby booze, baby mm-hmm. booze. That's what I like to get and fit on. I have not a big mantle and I can't make it too tall because I have the doors for the TV. So I like the little baby booze, little smaller pumpkins. And then there's, and I have, I think a one white ceramic one from before. There's a few mm-hmm. fall things I carry season to season, but you know, I try to mix it up too. I think people get bored seeing the same thing. But, you know, another thing I don't see that often that I think is really pretty to use and you could put on your mantle is, are the wheat bundles. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I've beautiful. seen some that are kind of wide, but not real deep. That would be perfect for a mantle. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. And you could probably even form, form them a little bit. <clears throat> so they're not as deep you know, as they are wide. Yeah. That would be something beautiful. You know, well, right. If you bought, if you bought the wheat, you could do that. Sometimes the mm -hmm. bundles already come already pre-assembled. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of stuck with whatever size they are. The other thing that I've been seeing the last couple of years is people are crazy about the seeded eucalyptus. <gasps> I, I am too. List. It's on my See, list. Yeah. That oh, I like is, with the white and the green mm -hmm. pumpkins. I think it's just perfect. It is beautiful. And it's, it's not a, um, it's more of a sagey or a, uh, a blue green, I yeah. would say. It's a softer, it's really a soft color. It's a and very romantic look. It, yeah. And it's like, uh, yeah, airy and fluffy. And it's just really beautiful. And I've seen those, uh, I've seen it laid on, on the, uh, the bottom of the mantle, the, um, and then just pumpkins put on top of that or little votives put in between that. And that is such a beautiful look with some of the seeded, part of it sort of dripping over the yeah, front of it, the mantle. Yeah, it really does drape beautifully. Um, mm -hmm. And if somebody, if somebody's listening and they're like, what is seeded? And you're thinking big it's, pods or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's tiny, tiny little, like um, seed size um, bits that grow out of the eucalyptus. Honestly, and I don't, mm -hmm. I mean, the eucalyptus is never flower. So I don't know if that's just, it's, a, it's sort of their their version of a berry, because I don't think that bit becomes a leaf. It's just the berry part. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's a berry, you know, in the way it would grow, but it's so tiny, they mm -hmm. call it a seed. And I know you can get them at a lot of flower marts and things like that. Now we can't, it's not readily available around here. So when we, I get the, at, I get it at the florist and it's, it is quite pricey. I'll be honest with you. I, I much prefer it fresh than a lot of people use it dried. I'm not a big, as big of a fan of it dried as I am fresh. So it would be something that you would, could leave and it would dry on your mantle and it looks, it looks nice, but it doesn't, it does dry a little differently than it looks when it's fresh. Yeah. And this really is my favorite look. I mean, that's probably what I'm going to do or the white. It has a French pumpkin. influence. I think yeah. it's very French looking. With the seeded eucalyptus. Well, it's very soft and romantic, which mm -hmm. is just goes so well with French, um, with just kind of French style and French design. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think it's beautiful. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. But if you don't have that and you have, you can get a hold of some bittersweet, you can use that too. Um, the, uh, something else I really love to use is um, like we both talked about it, candles, candles on our mantle, especially for the fall. And I like that, that juxtaposition of using those pretty little like gold votives with some really rustic, big, chunky, tall candlesticks. I think that is such a pretty look for fall. It's very warm. Yeah, I saw something that was really pretty. Uh, I can't fit it, but I think that somebody should try it. Or I might try it maybe for my dining room. It was um, sort of a combination of some feathers, which I love, the tall pheasant type feathers. Oh, we, yeah, those are nice. You can get those on Amazon. Um, I have a good source for them on Amazon, so okay, I'll make sure so I then put we that can in. include that. And some greens. I mean, you could do the seeded eucalyptus. And then there was also... Uh, bits of wheat sheaf, you know, individual stalks mm -hmm. of it, maybe like mm -hmm. three together. So it had a little more impact. So that's your arrangement. But then it was in a glass uh, vase so you could see through it. And they put the really pretty bird seed, you know, like you can get at the nursery mm -hmm. or the hardware store, the one that has a lot of different colors and sort of blacks and golds and whites and stuff like that. So they used oh, nice. that as the, the base of it. Now, if you're putting in uh, you know, the feathers obviously don't need the water. The wheat sheaves don't need water. So your third thing, you would either just forego the water and say, oh, I'm going to dry my seeded eucalyptus or I'm going mm -hmm. to put in some boxwood and it's just going to you know dry and it'll last that long. Or you would, you know, make an effort to put in something, a third thing that is green, but doesn't really, you know, is maybe faux or doesn't require, you know, a lot of water to look good for a week or two, but it looked so pretty. I really love when the vase works with the floral arrangement, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. obviously can work with in style, but I love it when it works in the whole feel. So that really gave a real fall sense to that arrangement. And if you don't have a vase, just use a tall glass cylinder. Yeah. That would look beautiful with mm. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. 
Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt pesto pork chops over parmesan polenta not that easy to say but oh so easy to make with green chef green chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well and we have such a great deal for you you're going to save 250 dollars. listen on for the details on that green chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle whether you're keto paleo vegan vegetarian gluten-free or just looking to eat more balanced meals you know we're getting into the busy holiday season so it's a perfect time to have green chef help you out Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free... That's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. I am such a fan of uh, pheasant feathers and I'm, I'm very blessed. I have a son-in-law who goes pheasant hunting. So we get to eat great pheasant with buckshot in it. That's not the fun part, but also he keeps, he, um, when he dresses it, he takes the tail feathers and I get them. So I use, I love to use feathers in the fall, just even in a white ironstone pitcher, but how pretty would that look just sitting up on your mantle? Like oh, I think that'd be those. really pretty. I know. And then know. another thing, I guess you couldn't probably put this on your mantle, but I love the tartans for fall. So maybe you could put it on your fireplace and near your fireplace in a basket somewhere rather than on your mantle. But I just, I just love that look. Just those warm throws, especially the tartans this time of year. This is the time to get them out. Well, you know, what's a great idea to be able to work fabric in is if you have a, say you have a pot, I have a couple that are. Uh, like sort of pedestal pots. So they look a little bit more decorative than just a regular pot you might. Like an urn? Yeah, kind of like an urn shape. I know I picked up a few at Anthropology several years ago that I'm thinking about. They just have a really pretty base. So it'd be something that would be not really gardeny looking, more decorative. And then if you got those potted mums that are so inexpensive everywhere, the mm-hmm. small ones, and then you maybe bought, say, a yard or half a yard of some tartany type plaid, material and then you cut it and it so you don't you know inexpensive material it's like, okay you know you're going to use a half a yard of it or something like that just put that in the vase first and then plop your mum 
on top of it. And then that sort of flares out. So you just got that little bit of the plaid tartan. I mean, it doesn't have to be plaid. You could do any material that you like. But I love that idea. A, it is very decorative and it could pull in different colors in your room. It could be your pop if you want to have a pop color for the season on your mantle. But it also softens the edges of the plant, particularly mums. You know, they stand upright. So if you put a mum in a pot or in an urn, you know, you kind of feel like you need some moss or something or you need something to sort of come around the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. So I like the way the fabric does that. Burlap does that really well too. So it's kind of a really inexpensive way to dress it up. And you could dress it up for any season. You could have a plant that and an urn and you could just change out the fabric. You know, it could be, you could go from 4th of July to Christmas. You know, you could just keep (laughs) changing the, like buying yourself a half a yard of fabric or something like that. And here the um, mums are wonderful, long lasting uh, plants. You do have to water them. Just remember to do that. But if you get them when they're just in the buds phase, they will last an awfully long time. And if you can stick them a little bit higher up on your mantle, you know, your eye, than your eye level, then you, then that's a really beautiful look because you definitely want to put it, uh, your, the plastic pot in something else. You just don't want to leave the plastic there, obviously. But, um, something else you can use with, or without the fabric, if you need to tuck something around a small mum that would look gorgeous on a mantle, uh, would be to get like little little um, mini pumpkins or little mini gourds and stick those around the base of the um, mum. And that's a really pretty, pretty look. And then just maybe have a couple uh, mums or acorns or whatever that you have um, in your pot also sort of spilling out and onto your mantle as well, because you sort of want to mirror that. So there's some connectivity to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you can add that would be nice for a mantle, I have some very small dough bowls. You can't go with the large troughs, but Mm -hmm. the smaller dough bowls you could fit there because the wood just to me feels very fallish. And then you can fill those with apples or pears, which is another favorite thing of mine to use. Um, you know, when you're, when you're decorating for fall and I love the natural elements. So it's so easy to grab apples or pears and put them on there. And then also you can put on your mantle, some deer sheds. Uh, you know, we have the farm, so we grab real deer sheds, which are the, you know, the, the antlers that break off. But if you like that look, but you don't have access to the real thing or, or you're, you know, not interested in, you want something more vegan than that, you can, there's faux ones everywhere. And those are great to throw in a dough bowl with some pine cones or some potpourri or, you know, something else. So you can tuck those, those antlers in with your seeded eucalyptus too, with the white pumpkins. And that's a beautiful look. I that saw is a beautiful um, look. white terrines, small ones. I mean, you might even call them bowls. I think they had a little foot, but there were three of them. They were the same in graduated sizes and someone had piled them up and they put the seeded eucalyptus in each one. They probably put some maybe tissue paper or something in it and then put the seeded eucalyptus, then put the other one on top of it, did the same, did the same. And then the top one, the littlest one had some, maybe they put a I'm thinking they probably put a little piece of floral foam or something in there. So the eucalyptus was not falling out, but just sort of branching out really. It looked so pretty. It was so, I mean, it seems so easy. You just stack them up. So if you had a little trio of bowls or something like that, that might be something to try. Mm-hmm. I want to see that. Where oh, it was so pretty. <laughs> yeah, it was so pretty. Um, another thought I had, it's, it, you know, again, if you're in the the um, category of mantles like I am, and you have a narrow one, maybe you're struggling with having a pot or an urn or a bowl or something like that. So you can find uh, fall botanicals. And I know that so many of our blogger friends for so many years did all those free printables. I don't know if that's as hot as I was never became a printable girl. I hate printers, but <laughs> so I was, I'm not good at that. I mean, there's one I hate and it lives in my house. I hate my yeah. printer no matter what. I'm sorry. I see it right now. It's like, Ugh. like you know, what? I, I know I feel I, the same I way. I need you, but I hate you. And I hate that I need you. A fall botanical would be a print of a plant. It's a drawing that's usually colored, uh, 
representation of a, usually it's just one plant. And so that's what we're calling the botanical. So there, there's, there are a print that you could frame or are you talking about framing them or just kind of Yeah, you could them? frame it um, mm-hmm. or, you know, even just attach it to a heavy cardstock if it was just something, you know, you were going to have for a little while and you could just lean that. So say that's you had idea. one that was, a bota- you know, botanicals, I guess were really kind of uh, you know, like science books. I mean, a lot of them are from Germany originally, the original plates of them. But, um, you know, and they, lots of them depict the different um, aspects of the plant, the different parts of the plant and things like that. So they're really interesting and they're beautiful and they're very simple, you know, and it, but it, yeah, especially I mean, you're saying when it's just depicting the one thing, it really does uh, make a memorable impression. So if, say, if you got one of a leaf or, your, or a mum or something like that, that could be really pretty and you lean that and then maybe you could just do something small in front of it. You know, another thing that you can, that I'm seeing that's really pretty are the stalks of cotton that uh-huh. you can, that are dried. And so you can, you know, those big bottles, I love the Demijohn bottles, the big ones, right. but they're really hard to put flowers in because it's hard to I know, I never with- really liked the way that looks. I know. So if you have something like some uh, branches of fall leaves or some cotton stems, something that's dried, you know, it's just too hard to work with water, something that's, you know, needs the fresh water to it. But if it's something that's kind of a dried branch, I, I think they're great to use for branches or like I said, for the cotton stems. Mm-hmm. And then I love seeing those, like I said, with the tree branches with some beautiful fall uh, leaves on them. Mm-hmm. They don't last long, though. I mean, seriously, right. they last a couple of days. Right. The other thing that I'm thinking of, and you're talking about printables, is make sure that you are layering um, your mantle. And I, I have two beautiful tobacco baskets. And I'm thinking about, I'm just thinking about it, taking down my black shutters and putting a tobacco basket on each side because they're, <clears throat> they're great for propping up. So that's something that would look really beautiful. Uh, on your mantle. And I'm actually going to paint mine white. I don't like the finish that's on them. They're not the oh, real Oh, the tobacco deal. baskets? You're yeah, paint they're, them white? they're not a, they're not real. I mean, they're not well, that's, an antique. That's interesting. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, not that long ago, you could only buy the antique ones. They were quite expensive. And now they're so popular that there's a lot of faux ones that are much mm-hmm. less expensive available now. Yes. And I have two of the faux ones. And I- I've never seen one painted though. I, I, well, I'm going to do it. I mean, I have right, one I'll, done. I'll I have on one side. done. The small one's done. Okay. It's, uh, it's done in biscuits and gravy um, by, you know, the, the, the paints I sell. And I'm going to do the big one. And I'm thinking, oh, they might look really nice leaning up against um, the, the uh, wall of, in, in, that's in back of the mantle. The other thing is don't forget like to drape something across your mantle, like a garland or something like that. I have a, um, uh, their book page leaves, their burlap in book pages that I just, I cut out, I traced a real leaf and cut um, old book pages from a, um, old pages from a book. And with, I just strung a string and with an old um, a clothespin sort of clip the burlap leaf and the one made out of um, a page from a book together and then strung a whole bunch of them across across my mantle and they looked really really yeah, really I like cool that. I like that you also did that. acorns look great um, strung together small pine cones look lovely strung together as well the acorns just make sure that you um, just look online you can see directions uh, to bake them in the oven for a while because there are little worms and things that can be in there and that could infest your house. And Anita needs to go take a break. Now. <laughs> I know. I need to go wash my hands right now. <laughs> I, just, I, I just have to go. Um, she's like, I have to go bake something, uh, make my acorns. Um, getting back to the garland idea, I did this several mm-hmm. years ago uh, when I was a little more, more crafty. But, you know, there's sort of big, there, there was some sort of, you know, fake material like pl- polyester or something like that orange and green and gold or brown leaves that you can buy in the package. Like you'll see them at CVS or Rite Aid or someplace like that. They're, they're in like mm-hmm. the cheapo decor aisle. Well, yeah, I always like yeah. to troll the cheapo decor aisle because- Did you, you spray paint them? Yeah. So if you have a can <laughs> of spray paint and some cheapo decor, you can transform I, that into very expensive looking decor. So yeah, I knew you were going to say that. I spray painted them gold and there are big leaves. So it was pretty impressive. I mean, they look great. And I had them strung up. I was probably inspired by what you did, stringing them on there. And they're so big and the leaf stems are long enough where you could just sort of tie the, 
tie them in a knot with some twine. And oh, it looked wow. really pretty. I had that up for a while. And you can obviously make it as long as you want. I mean, you probably get like 20 leaves in a pack. And then I took it apart because I didn't, my mantle didn't really work with a garland. And then last year, I just sort of tuck them in various places. I've kind of used them almost like a, a placemat for a pumpkin, you know, to sit on it. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Yes. So they're just great to have. You in layered your, your pumpkins. I laid my pumpkins. <laughs> and then you, you could tuck a few in. They're bendable. So you kind of, kind of scrunch them in. You can put them in floral arrangements. They're really versatile. So yeah. And they're probably like $1.99 for 20 Go On the it. mantle, that would look so beautiful. Go ahead. Clean out your closet. Then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. BritBox just keeps getting better. The new Archie is amazing. And it's not the comics. It's about Cary Grant. Archie is the brand new limited series starring Jason Isaacs as Archie Leach, the man who became Cary Grant. From the award-winning screenwriter of Philomena, Archie tells Grant's born in Britain, made in Hollywood story. The dramatic grit to glamour transformation that led him to become one of the most famous people in the world. You are going to absolutely love the acting, but also the styling, the outfits, the scenery. It's the first time his story has been told in collaboration with his daughter Jennifer Grant and ex-wife Diane Cannon. The performances from Jason Isaacs and the rest of the cast are amazing. And it's only available on BritBox. So sign up for BritBox today to stream Archie and other fan favorites from any device. And we have a special limited time offer for our U.S. and Canadian listeners. Get 50% off. Yes, that's 50% off your first month when you sign up for a monthly plan. But only if you go to BritBox.com and use our promotion code DTT at checkout. You're going to love Archie. So head over right now and get 50% off your first month of BritBox. Use the promotion code DTT at BritBox.com. And here's what I love about decorating tips and tricks. And really what I love about being a host, I get so many, excuse me, great ideas from what you (laughs) girls talk about. And when you were saying about spray painting, I've got, I've got a bunch of leaves. I bought, um, I bought like a big branch of them and I, I brought them home and I thought, oh, they're just not the right color. Yeah. And I'm gonna don't have worry to take about them not the right back. color. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to gold leaf them. <gasps> I have been like a gold oh, leafing fiend lately. Wow. Uh, oh, my latest project, I just, and it would look so pretty on a mantle. I took a large, thin pumpkin, a little round, uh, a medium sized round pumpkin and a small little pumpkin. And if you had a wide enough mantle, this would so work. And I gilded the tall pumpkin, the the two thirds from the bottom up, gilded the whole thing gold. And and I know you love spray paint, but you cannot get that color out of a, of, of a can. And I gilded that. And then I took the little round one and I made circles of all different sizes all over it. And I gilded it silver, copper, and gold. Oh, how fabulous. With these, how fun. With these circles. And then I just took the, the, um, stem of the little tiny one and gilded it gold. Then I gilded, I love the look of that. So then I gilded the other two, but gilding is so much fun. So I'm going to take some of those ugly leaves because I think if you'd gild the top, the underside would look really pretty if it had some color to it. 
Oh, you know what okay, I'm what saying? A, if it's mm-hmm. sort of, if you could sort of right. see it, see a little bit of it. That sounds great. Well, mm-hmm. gosh, we've given there so many great ideas today. My goodness. We have to go and add more decor to our full mantles. I think <laughs> I've think i got a guild, girl. See you later. <laughs> I know. Well, this has been so much fun, and we love hanging out with you. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Thanks so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. If you're enjoying what you're hearing, then subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode.